Correct. We sent Tanya Tonello to meet with the costume designers from The Crown, now in its sixth and final season, to find out why Princess Di's timeless styles are still turning heads today. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Tanya. You've got your dial oh. necklace on. Thank you for noticing. Is that <laughs> deliberate? It absolutely is deliberate. It's very nice. In your presence, I had to do an homage to the Queen <laughs> and to Diana. Nice. And here we are in our jumpers. <laughs> <laughs> Looking gorgeous. Um, it is so amazing to meet you both today. And it's such an honor. What a, you know, an iconic series to be working on. I'm a fashion lover. So to have a discussion with the two of you is an absolute dream come true. It's like designing for a huge opera. A huge mm -hmm. opera starring a large dysfunctional family. And that's what it is. You finally succeeded in turning this house upside down. That's never my intention. Don't really understand how I ended up here. So why do you think her style is so relevant today? Something that Diana did was she inhabited multiple women in her style. Mm. She wasn't just one thing. She wasn't... We saw so many versions of herself, and I think that's something that talks to women now, is we can be all of these things. We don't just have to be one. We don't have to be the pretty girl in a pretty dress. We can also be the strong, slightly more muscular framed one that wears salmon um, cycling shorts and a big oversized jumper. So for me, that's like fundamentally what I think is really um, interesting about her and therefore quite empowering is that she, at that, at that point in time, was kind of brave enough to be like, I'm not going to be pigeonholed into one of these things. All one wants is for that girl to find peace. Ladies, thank you so much for your wisdom and your insight. It has been such a pleasure. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank and you, you look so much. gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> you've, made my day. you've made my week. <laughs> Oh, The Crown is such a good Netflix and chill viewing. And Tanya Tanello joins us now. <laughs> Looking iconic, I Thank might you. add. Thank you. OK, Princess Diana, as relevant today fashion-wise as she was 30 years ago. So here is Harry Styles wearing the exact same black sheep sweater that Di made famous. And that's a street style photo of Emily Ratajkowski wearing the boxy blazer look that Di wore quite often. Like, this is signature for sure. So we want to chat a little bit about inspiration. Before we get to your dress, which yes. has its own name, why do you think Princess Di is still relevant right now? Well, the fact that she's just a fashion icon, mm -hmm. I think that because we're seeing the 90s come back in yes. with style and fashion, and she was the epitome of the 90s, yeah. um, I think that's a huge factor in consideration. For sure. It's all, it's all cyclical. That's it's right. all come back. But that revenge dress, and I remember this dress at the time, this was a big inspo for proms, for graduations, for date nights. Everyone was doing the revenge dress. You are doing it so perfectly. <laughs> Talk to me about this look. Thank you. Well, actually, fun fact, do you know why it's called the revenge dress? No, tell me. OK, so when Prince Charles announced his adultery with Camilla, yeah. She wore her revenge dress that night. Oh, yes, she did, Diana. <laughs> yes, she did. So it was a little bit, I'll show you. Yeah. Meanwhile, for me, I'm like, I'll show Jeremy from Tinder from <laughs> 2017. <laughs> I don't know what That's I'm doing. What you but get. Yeah. That's what you <laughs> get, Jeremy <laughs> from Tinder. <laughs> That's what you're missing out on. <laughs> but it's actually so but perfectly anyway. executed. And Thank like, you. what is it that you were looking for when you were trying to like achieve this look? So I was looking for <laughs> off the shoulder, sweetheart yes. neckline, some ruching, yeah. definitely a hemline that wasn't too short, but not too long. Yep. And just like a little black dress with a twist. Yeah. So this one is from Carriage Trade, which is a Canadian boutique that's been around for 60 years and they have so many gorgeous dresses. So I fell in love with this one. And I have to mention this gorgeous choker. Mm -hmm. So of course I was mimicking the choker that Princess Diana was wearing. This is from a Canadian jewelry designer, Rita Teslin. Love and we her. popped on one of her brooches for, you know, an ode to the queen mm. and just to give it that pop. 
Oh, it's all perfect down to the sheer nylons Thank and you. the black heels. It is perfect. Thank you. Next, Princess Di Inspo that we're going to be talking about is the athletic look. So she kind of made casual a thing. You will remember this look, like the biker shorts, the slouch socks, like hardcore. Uh, so many people have been wearing this then and now. So let's see how you style this look on Kayla. For sure. It's perfection. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, the princess guy casual look. So like you said, we are seeing this on the street now, so it's oh, not yeah. unusual to see this current day. Yeah. So I will start with the jacket because she would wear this when it was cooler weather um, over there. So, and she loved playing with color, which mm -hmm. I absolutely love. Yeah. Um, so this jacket is from a Canadian brand called Ellie Mae. Oh, nice. And yeah. I, and yeah, they do gorgeous coats, slow fashion, made in Toronto. But I want to get to the look underneath, so I'm going to help Kayla take off the jacket. I could hold the bag if you'd like. Very nice. And like you said, Tracy, so that signature look with the bicycle shorts, which were usually done in a fun color pop. Yep. And then a graphic sweatshirt, which was usually oversized. Yep. So the sweatshirt is from Urban Outfitters. They have a great selection there. And then the bicycle shorts, the crew uh, socks, as you mentioned, and the really fun sneakers are from Reebok. So in terms of the sneakers, she usually did like a mid-top or more of a chunky sneaker. Mm -hmm. And I love that these ones have a little bit of a color play on them. Very 90s and they tie into the sweatshirt. She she wore it and then the world wore it. That's so, right. And, that, and the world is still wearing it now. So that's pretty cool. Kayla, thank you so much for that. Looks good. Thanks, Kayla. Very good. Thank you. Our next inspired look is all about suits. Diana could certainly wear a suit, and that's what we're going for now. So let's see how you styled Lori in uh, the Princess Diana suit look. Yeah. Come on out, Lori. Very nice. Completely bang on for style now. Exactly. So suiting is really, it's always hot. Yes. Um, but I think the monochromatic suiting is very in right now, and that's definitely what Princess Diana did. Yes. Now, she did it sometimes in some more muted tones, but I wanted to do this really rich green on Lori, knowing her, her skin tone. I love it. Thought it would look gorgeous on mm -hmm. her. So this beautiful suit is from H&M. Nice. And in terms of how Princess Diana styled her suits, she was quite simplistic. So generally, she would pair it with a scoop neck, tea or tank underneath. Yeah. So I just put this really beautiful shell that's also from H&M under. Yeah. And then I finished it with neutral accents. So this tote bag is from Winners as well as the heels. Nice. Um, and the belt actually. And then all of the jewelry that we're seeing today except for my necklace is from Biko. Oh nice. Another Canadian yeah. brand. Mm -hmm. And Biko does, I mean, different kinds of jewelry great, but Delicate's really beautiful. Yes. And so this is very 90s in terms of the shape, and then the other ones that Kayla and our next model are wearing are more of the classic little hoop. Very, very lovely. Like this is, this is timeless. If you get a suit like this, you're gonna be wearing it 20 years from now and 20 years ago. So thank That's you so right. much, Lori. That looks Thanks, great. Lori. Very nice. All right, last but not least, we have another famous look, this time with cowboy boots. Yes, the tucked in jean and all. Let's see how you styled this look on Peyton. Peyton, come on out. Let's see this. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. That's it. It's so cute. So yeah. I love all of the looks, but honestly, I think I'm a little partial to this one. I get it. It's just so cool. Yeah. It was so like ahead of her time then. It's still working now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start with the fun cowboy boots that have really made, you know, a reemergence in the last couple of years. Yes. So I actually thrifted these from Common Sort, nice. which is a secondhand store, local. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the look, so the jeans are a straight cut, which is very much what Diana wore, more of that mid-wash. Yeah. Those are from Dynamite as well as the blazer. Good. which is a little bit oversized because yeah. we are putting the sweatshirt underneath so you need that room. Yes. Um, and actually the sweatshirt is from H&M and I love this graphic because I know that Princess Diana loved skiing with her family yeah. so we have uh, that nod there. And then finished off the look of course with the ball cap um, and that is actually from Urban Outfitters. Very like very eclectic when you look back and I'm wondering if she's like watching this from the grave and thinking guys I just didn't care that's why I did this. <laughs> Fashion. Right? It was <laughs> whatever effortless. it is, it's effortless and it was a style. It was an eclectic style and she owned it. Thank you so much. That looks great. Thanks. Love the boots too. Thrifted or investment piece. It makes sense with a cowboy boot. Thank you, Tanya. Right, thank you. Good stuff.